Hey guys, I am out here with the smoker. It is really hot here today in Oklahoma and I don't want to turn my oven on. So I decided to cook dinner out here in Pat's uh, Pit Boss. Um, what's great about it, it's a pellet smoker, but it also has um, like temperature settings where you can set like an oven setting. So um, I'm going to get this one on smoke because Chloe has been craving barbecue y'all and Patrick hadn't had time to smoke pork butt or brisket um, he was about to take one out of the freezer today and I'm like you are not gonna feel like putting that thing on when you get home tonight you're just not so he didn't um, but we are craving that delicious barbecue that only I feel like only he can um, satisfy like the taste that we have that we've acquired that only he can satisfy because he does something and he has a technique you know and it just has a flavor that we love so I'm gonna try to imitate some barbecue um, what's great about the area that we live in is there are food distribution programs going out right now um, especially it really kicked into high gear when COVID really started coming about um, the schools were giving out free lunches to you know all kids um, and we are in tribal land so Cherokee Nation um, they were distributing food too which we never physically went ourselves to get it but guys people were so generous they would have an abundance and they would give out and so they would say call us and say hey do you need this or do you want this and I'd be like yeah I'll take it um, because we don't want to waste anything so one of the things that was given to us was um, pulled pork it was I think it's already cooked um, and it has been sealed and it's in packaging um, so that's what I'm choosing to use today um, it's not gonna have the quite the same flavor that Chloe's wanting but I am going to uh, put that pulled pork in some foil and I'm gonna put it in the smoker for about an hour Patrick said leave it in there for about an hour let it get that good smoke flavor on it add some seasoning um, she's got to have barbecue sauce so that's what I'm doing today and I'm making this video just to encourage you guys so if there's something that you know maybe your favorite restaurant or something isn't open right now or you've really wanted um, a certain food and you can't get there you can't get to that food that you want try to recreate it at home the best that you can um, so that's what we're doing today which Patrick <laughs> could totally smoke us an amazing pulled pork a pork butt or he could smoke us an amazing brisket but right now he just doesn't have the time that it takes so I'm going to try to do my best to make this happen for Chloe tonight. Okay, this is the pulled pork that um, we had someone give us. And I have thawed it out. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it in some foil. I'm going to sprinkle some of Patrick's seasoning on there. Make this foil into just like a bowl. And place it into the smoker just leaving it open exposed to all that good smoke flavor now it's gonna be on 200 because I have it set on smoke so it's gonna range about the 200 and I'm gonna leave it in here for about an hour so another thing that I've been really wanting to do um, and I don't know that I should but I'm, I'm gonna give it a try today um, is let these babies out I'm gonna let them out of here for a while I'm gonna see how they do um, in the yard I'm gonna try to watch them and make sure that the dogs don't chase them which I don't think they will because there's other chickens roaming the yard and they don't mess with them they all eat together they run in a pack together so I really don't think they will but again Patrick's not here <laughs> um, so I don't know how he's gonna feel about me doing this when he watches this he may be like what but I'm gonna give it a try because I feel like they need to run free a little bit and I think that they're trained enough that they are gonna actually come back they'll come back in here 
um, this evening. So I'm just going to keep my eye on them as I watch the smoker. So here they are. They're getting really big, guys. That's why I feel like maybe they're okay just to let them out and scratch around the yard. Um, I'd really hate to lose them, but I really want them to have a little bit of freedom because they're getting so big and they're all cooped up in here and it just kind of hurts my heart a little bit. So I want them to have a little bit of freedom. So I'm going to take a chance on it and I'm going to let them out. <laughs> Oh gosh, if this will open, that may be a sign for me not to do this because this won't open. It's kind of stuck. Oop, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna latch it up here and see how they do. Oh, they're already chasing me. Ah! <laughs> Puppies, hey, back. Oh yeah, they're already loving it. Let me get out of the way. Oh yeah, that's some new ground right there. <laughs> I love it. Isn't this just amazing? Isn't God's creation just amazing? Oh, look at them, y'all. Alpha, back. Yeah, they love this, guys. I'm just going to keep my eye on them. Uh-oh. Gonna check it out. Yeah. I don't know how far they'll go. They're still kind of little, so I know at night, I know I need to make sure that this cage is shut and locked so no predators, no dogs <laughs> get these babies. It has now been an hour and I am so excited to see. Oh yeah. I think she's going to love it. I hope she approves. So now we're going to take it from this into this. What you think? Oh, Is it good? Mm -hmm. Does it satisfy? Awesome. Okay guys, I feel accomplished because she gave me a thumbs up. So it might not be exactly like Patrick's, but it's gonna satisfy her taste needs tonight. <laughs> so I'm not gonna eat mine just yet. Um, I've kind of been snacking. Who else snacks when you cook? I just do it and then when it's time to eat I'm not actually hungry because I've already been eating so I just want to do a little unboxing some friends from Canada um, sent a surprise package and a sweet little note um, with it so I want to show you guys what's in there do I have stuff stuck to me um, and I thought it was appropriate to unbox it tonight because one of the first things that we saw when we opened the package was this. Now you guys know that Patrick loves to cook, he loves to smoke, and he loves to make ribs. So this he was very excited about. I'm sorry that he can't be here with us during this. Um, his schedule is just, you know, um, kind of difficult, but um, he appreciated this he appreciated the gift so he said he would be cooking some of these recipes out of this book so I'm excited about that I get excited about food um also there was a little pin cushion um in this and then there was this bag 
um, Canadian bag with all these goodies in here. So uh, there is a piece missing because little miss over here already dug in it. Um, the Twizzlers that were in here, gone. Uh, totally gone. And then there is a zippered coin purse. There are some playing cards. And there are some Canadian pins. And we love pins. For all the Bible studies, all the notes and things like that, we love pins. And then this little cute little cozy. Um, this come from Alicia and Tim and family from Canada. And she made this, guys. She uh, sent this. Sent this. Um, it's American themed. So I think that's cool. And I'm actually going to use it with my Coke tonight. So <laughs> I'm going to drink my Coke and um, eat my barbecue and have a good evening. So it's just Sis and I tonight. So it's like girls night. We like that. Um, we had a girls day. Uh, we went to the library. She got her some manga books. And she's just been off in her room enjoying the quiet. The grandbabies aren't here tonight, so Amazing. it seems it seems extremely quiet. So I just wanted to show you guys all of this and say thank you to Tim and Alicia for sending us these wonderful gifts. We're gonna have dinner together. I'm gonna sip my Coke and uh, walk out and check those chicks. I was coming to check on the girl to see if she wanted to walk out and check the chicks with me. And she's being a little makeup artist. <laughs> well, <laughs> they're back in their home. We did have to get them and put them up because one of the dogs was chasing them around and they were scared. So we gathered them up, gave them some feed, and they're safe in their home. So, she saw herself in my camera for the first time in light. So, she's a little bit scared of... Come here. I just wanted to close this video out. Um, call it a day. So glad you guys joined me. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing evening. God bless. Don't get it on me.